Suppose that the terminal point determined by t is the point at 5 eighths comma square root of 39 eighths on the unit circle. Find the terminal point determined by each of the following. a negative t, b 4 pi plus t, c pi minus t, and d t minus pi. All right, so in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and locate our point on the unit circle. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to try to get as close as possible. So first off, 5 eighths. What we're going to do is we're going to locate that on the x-axis. It's going to be 0.625 in decimal form. And the reason I'm doing that is because since this is a unit circle and we go from 0 to 1 here, I know that this is at 0.5 this right here is going to be at 0.75 so 0.625 is going to be somewhere right around here that's going to be on my x-axis and then for the square root of 39 over 8 that's going to be approximately 0 0.7806 once again if i go up on the y-axis this is 0 0.5, that's 0 0.75 so 0 0.78 is going to be somewhere just a little bit above it right here which means that if i go up i can find that my ordered pair is right about here on my unit circle and we'll go ahead and say 5 over 8 comma 39 square root of 39 over 8 which means if this is my point t i'm going to have an angle associated with it and remember, in this case, we're using radian measurement in this case. And so I have my point T here, but this is also going to yield some angle theta. And now what I want to do is determine what the ordered pair is associated with these following four given relationships. So negative t, well basically if I'm looking at this in terms of this angle right here theta and this is a positive t, what I'm going to do is note that if I rotate in a counterclockwise direction that's going to continue to be a positive angle. However, if I rotate in a counter in a clockwise direction that's going to be considered a negative angle so I'm going to do the same thing so what I'm looking at is still using these same values but now they're going to be in different quadrants and so a negative theta or in this case negative t is going to come into the fourth quadrant because remember this is your first quadrant your second quadrant your third quadrant your fourth quadrant you note that your ordered pair here is positive in both here you have a negative x and a positive y here you'll have a negative x and a negative y and down here you'll have a positive x and a negative y so then if i'm going to rotate down here to negative t and basically what i'm going to do is just assume that's my angle and it doesn't, like I said, it's not going to have to be perfect, but I'm going to want to try to make it look as good as possible. And really what I'm trying to do is just rough this out. And so now what I'm looking at is a negative T here or negative T. And that means that while I'm using these values, one of them is going to be positive, the, y, the x value, and one will be negative, the y value, because in the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. So therefore, my ordered pair would be 5 eighths comma negative square root of 39 over 8. And that would be my answer over here. So the next one is part B, which says 4 pi plus t. Now remember, we're dealing with radian measurement here. We're assuming t is also representing my angle. And 4 pi plus t means that I'm going to rotate in a positive direction. So it's going to be counterclockwise from my initial terminal side of this angle. And remember that one full revolution around the unit circle is 2 pi radians. 
So therefore, 4 pi radians is going to be two full revolutions around the circle. But I'm starting from this point or this terminal side here. And so what we're going to do is rotate one full revolution and then a second full revolution. And I end up on the exact same terminal side, which means that I end up with the exact same terminal point. And so we'll go ahead and write this down as 5 eighths comma square root of 39 over 8. Now we're going to look at negative t. Now notice that I've already put a negative t on this thing and I've already gone to, I'm sorry, we're going to look at pi minus t. So in this case, what we're going to look at is we're going to start with our radian angle measurement of pi. So... We're going to start right here, and we're going to rotate counterclockwise pi radians, which is equivalent to 180 degrees in this case. But now we're going to subtract t from that, which means that I'm going to come back to my angle or to my terminal side, and it's going to look something like this. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And now I need to determine what my terminal point is here. Now, think about it. We're still going to be using the exact same numbers, but in this case, in the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. So my ordered pair would be negative 5 over 8 comma square root of 39 over 8. So that's my answer for this one. And now finally we're going to do t minus pi, which means that we're going to start with our initial terminal side here, right here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to subtract pi from that, which means we are going to rotate pi radians around but in a negative direction so we're going to go clockwise that's the same thing as rotating 180 degrees and so now i can go ahead and draw my new terminal side which is going to look like this which means that my point t is right here and you'll notice that I am now in the third quadrant where both x and y are negative, still using the same numbers, but in this case we'll have a negative 5 over 8, comma, negative square root of 39 over 8. And that's what we would write over here to the left.